everybody. My name is Miss Cat, and I'm a teaching artist from the Van Wazel. I'm really excited today because I'm going to share an art project with you that you can do at home. It's called Let's Create a Mythological Creature. So before we get started, I want to talk to you a little bit about the art supplies. You can use a plain piece of white paper or it could have lines on it. And you could even use a pencil. That'll work fine. But for today's project, I'm going to use markers. So do you know what a mythological creature is? It's an imaginary creature. You're probably familiar with dragons, unicorns, mermaids. Mermaids are my favorite. I think it's because I grew up near the water and I love to swim. And I love to think of the fun adventures they have underwater. So I hope you had a chance to check out the Ringling Animal Safari virtual tour. They have a really cool dragon that's on a jar and it was created by an artist during the Ming Dynasty. Let me show you a picture of it. And if you look closely, you'll see that it's different animal parts. The head looks like it's made up from a lion, the body a lizard, and the legs from an eagle. So artists have been creating mythological creatures for thousands of years, and they usually do use different animal parts. So for today's project, we're gonna pick three parts. We're gonna pick a head from one animal, a body from another, and a tail from another. So let's look at some animal anatomy of different animal parts. If you notice the dog there, you don't see his tail, but the dog's inspired me. I think I may have a dog's tail on my mythological animal. And then you can see the different parts. Elephant trunks are always interesting. Look closely at the skin on the snake, how scaly it is. You could draw like that, and its eye is really interesting. Alligators are known for their very sharp teeth, and the spider has very interesting eyes. And look at the toucan beak and the beautiful colors it has. So let's take a look at some more animal anatomy, body parts. If you notice on the giraffe, its body is shaped square, but it has a very long neck and very long legs. The spider has many legs. How many legs does the spider have? That's right, it has eight. And the guinea pig is very round and fuzzy looking. So if you wanna do more animal research, you could talk to your family, ask them questions. For instance, how would you create your mythological creature? What three parts would you use for the head, the body, and the tail? You could also go to a live webcam as a zoo and see animals in action, or walk through your neighborhood and see what animals you might spot. You can also look in books and magazines. So now let's get started on our project. So the first thing that I did I made some visual notes because I wanted to practice drawing some different animal parts. So you can see here where I concentrate on, on heads and eyes, see the bunny with the ears and the elephant with the trunk. And here's where I worked on the body. And I even have some tails over here. And look, I practiced drawing animal legs. So now, might be a good time to stop the video and go and collect your art supplies. Remember, a half sheet of paper, crayons, markers, or just a pencil. So let's get started. So what I've decided for my mythological creature is going to have the head of a rabbit, the body of a tortoise, and the tail of a dog. So here's what I do. I'm going to draw the shape of the tortoise shell right in the center of my paper. This way I have room to put a head and the tail. So I'm gonna draw a big round head like that. Doesn't look like a rabbit yet, but watch. Go like this and like this. And then I'm gonna add some eyes in, a little triangle nose, smile, and some whiskers. I'm going to add the dog's tail at the end because I have lots of room left. And for the turtle shell or tortoise shell, you can see I'm doing like angle lines. I want it to look like armor. So my mythological creature has a lot of strength and is protected by its shell. 
I've also decided that I want my mythological creature to be able to fly. And I'm going to put some little detail in there, just some simple curved lines to make it look like a wing. And I've also decided I want it to have centipede legs. So I'm putting lots and lots of legs in there. And I'm going to add little feet at the bottom. And there you have it. I've sketched my mythological creature. Now for the really fun part. I'm going to fill it in. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some colors in on the tortoise shell, just like that. And with markers, you can blend the colors. You can also, if you're using crayons, you can do that too. See how cool that is? And then I want to have some pink on my rabbit. I'm going to give it some pink on the inside of its ears. I'm going to add gray around. And I don't worry about staying totally in the lines, but it fills in really quickly like that. And because I'm using my imagination, my dog style tail is going to be purple. Isn't that fun? And the wing, I'm going to use blue. And I want to highlight and show off my really cool centipede legs. So I'm just kind of coloring over those like that. So there you have it. There's a mythological creature. Now I hope you'll show yours to your family. So the next thing we want to do now is let's come up with a myth. A myth is also known as an imaginary story. So the first thing we should do is give our creature a name. And once you have the name, you can write it at the top or the bottom of your drawing. And then let's think and decide. One, where does it live? What is its personality? And what does it do? And I'll show you what I came up with. Here's the name that I gave my mythological creature, Leap the Farmer's Helper. And here's the myth I created. He lives near farms. He is friendly and loves people. And he helps farmers by running up across the fields each night watering the plants. You know he was there because in the morning there's dew on the plants. So I had so much fun doing that, I decided that I wanted to put Leaf, the farmer's helper, in a setting. So this is Leaf flying over the farmland fields during the day, checking out and seeing which fields need water. And then I created one more of Leaf in a setting, and he's coming in for a landing, getting ready to run up and down the fields and water the plants. So I hope you've had as much fun as I have creating a mythological creature. You can take a picture or video of your drawing and myth and post it on the Van Wezel Facebook page, School Time at the Van Wezel. Hashtag Artworks Anywhere. So stay tuned. I will be sharing more Create With Me projects really soon. Artfully yours, Miss Cat.